were reported. Hmm. This is Eliza Kassan from the airport. Taggart called the attacks. And extremely regrettable. About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderley I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bullet would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it, other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet. And I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The house has been detached, but I left it in the skull as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hop to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. Shipment we just got in from Kanat Technologies? Kanat. United in their cause to find a common ground. Should that day ever come to pass, one cannot help but one. Nations first propelled augmentation technology to the core. Officer Haas to the sergeant's office. Haas to the sergeant's office.
Request granted. Excellent. Police decided to shut down the legal rally prematurely. Mr. Taggart went on to express his Walker. Jensen, I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues, a detective Alexander. Jenny, what did she want? She said she could use some help if you could make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Regrettable. Of course, 
the methods used by these hostage takers. Takes a concentrated look at what happened here. You desire to stand in front of the Are you deaf or just plain stupid? I told you to get the hell out of my way. Strong words. You're a real poet. Tell me, is that how you plan to handle the judge when they prosecute you for perjury, possession, and intent to distribute? What the hell are you babbling about, Chrome Boy? Funny story. There's this guy, Blaine Lopez. Deals dope near City Airport. A real scumbag. You know him? Because I have a nice little chat record between him and you. So you want to go to jail? Or you want to tell me what I want to know? How the hell do you... <sighs> Shit, man. Now listen. I, I just did what was asked of me. I, I didn't have a choice. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning, and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly... It shows the boys who attacked Sarif as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. and Nobody asks questions. You just do what they say and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Speaking from the tarmac at Wayne County... Have you found anything? Please, I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. 
So, what did you find? An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our IntelliCams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. But I did stumble on something I think you should have. I found Megan's bracelet. I'm sure she'd want you to have it. Oh, Adam, that's very kind of you. Her grandmother gave it to her. She loved that bracelet very much. Thank you for all you did. And um, do you, do you know exactly how Megan died? I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra, this is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. Another anti-augmentation demonstration. This time, Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. Pritchard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spider all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you, quite literally, into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. 
an abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Adam? It's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. Access granted. Establishing security system. See you soon, Mr. Jensen. Jensen, I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about, Richard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. <laughs> That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo. I see you got my message, Cabrón. Sanders. You're taking a risk meeting this close to Seraph headquarters. Same risk as you, considering you're the one who let me go. But I don't plan to stick around that long. Yeah? So what's this about? I did some house cleaning after the plant. And I turned up some intel on a gearhead motherfucker who used me and my brother. Tink left the pocket secretary behind. Don't say who he was working for, but it's got access codes, names, shit like that. Why are you giving it to me? Maybe I don't like feeling like I owe you. Or maybe I figured I'd send a snake to kill a snake. Take or to leave it, pendejo. Either way, my debt is paid. Long I'll time take you no see. Your travels. 
Jensen. My God, it's been a while. Remember me? We used to work the old 17th precinct back in the day. Man, I wish I could go with the good old you haven't changed at all bit, but that'd be complete and utter bullshit, right? You're right. What's the deal? Okay. So the machinery's not just for show. I'm undercover, keeping tabs on the derelict row ballers for now. I've got a hunch something big's coming. Why do I get the sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. I'm with IA now, and we're working a sting on a dirty cop named Jack O'Malley. Elusive, motherfucker. I mean, men in black elusive. We know he's involved in drugs, weapon dealing, tied into the gangs. But he's clever, and we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear, he's got friends in high places. Okay, and where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Break into his apartment, sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. This guy is nothing minor, Jensen. He's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? Can't let a guy like that roam free. I'm in. All right then, let's get to work. Like I said, I've got a couple of very promising leads, but O'Malley's got friends among the powers that be. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant even if I had footage of the perp confessing in real time as he's finger painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're going to have to break a few rules. Suits me. Rules would only slow me down. Hmm. Very dirty Harry of you, mm. Jensen. But we still have to be careful how we handle this. We've worked hard to catch this son of a bitch. I don't want him to walk on a technicality. Okay. What's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't know where exactly the DRB's cache is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. Would make shit easier to handle on my side. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? Information, drugs, weapons. Basically anything you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. What about the undercover assignment? Posing as a hitman. O'Malley's crafty, and even a bit paranoid. He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's going to be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone, a drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession, so the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCBs. Once you know the location, you'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. Prep him? Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. He's not going to turn in peacefully, but we need him alive. So I guess you're going to have to play this one macho and knock him out. One of our guys will then just happen to stumble upon him. You know, serendipity. Okay, let's do this. You can contact me on my info link if anything comes up. Excellent. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. The best you've ever had, baby. All right.
this? Two. Great.
Yes. May I help you? Actually, I've been told by a mutual acquaintance that it might be the other way around. Were you followed? I'm a professional. I know how things work. So if we can just skip Cloak and Dagger 101. Well, you certainly look the part. <laughs> now let's see how well you can play it. So what is it you need? Straight to business. A rare quality these days. Tell me, are you familiar with local gangs? More than enough to get by. Perfect. Now I warn you, this is not the cleanest of work, but your efforts will be well compensated. An associate of mine will leave a package for you in an alley on Grand River Road. You will retrieve this package and then use it to deal with a problem of mine. Permanently. Who's the target? Someone who won't be missed, I assure you. A ganger that goes by the name Double T. Hangs around in an apartment near Earl's Court. It's not likely that he'll be alone. Just as it's not likely the people keeping him company will be of the pleasant sort. You can't miss him. He's got prominent and rather tasteless augmentations to his face and arms. You're telling me you went through all this trouble to hire me, just so I can eliminate a banger? That would be a tad overkill, I admit. No, eliminating the target with the weapon provided to you is only the first part of your assignment. Once you've dealt with Double T, I need you to sneak into Derelict Row and plant the murder weapon among the baller's weapon stash. Unnoticed. Kill a member of the Motor City Bangers, then plant the murder weapon in the rival gang's weapon stash. You're trying to start a war. Hopefully. I guess that's it for now. Come on. 